siblings. My mother died when I was very young and our father basically abandoned us because he could not or did not want to take care of us. I felt I had no choice but to leave Ghana and try my luck in Europe. After months of traveling through Western Africa by whatever means I eventually made it to Libya where I paid 800 euros to men who promised to put me on a big boat which would finally take me to Europe. It is difficult to explain and I have bad memories about this, but I had a terrible time in Libya. Those of us from certain African countries were treated very badly by men who kept us in dirty houses without much clean water and very little edible food. They were very abusive and seemed to enjoy the way they treated us. It did not matter to them that we had paid them all this money. After several weeks of waiting, one day I was one of about 75 who were shoved onto a small rubber boat in the early hours of the morning while it was still dark. Initially, a few in our group refused to get onto the boat because it did not look strong or even big enough to carry all of us to Europe. The men in charge had weapons and were very aggressive. They simply did not care about our complaints about the boat. We did not make it to Europe Instead, we spent five days aimlessly floating around, basically lost at sea. As the boat started to lose air, we all thought we were going to die. As our food and water ran out, we eventually drifted towards the Tunisian coast, where we were rescued and sent to a detention center in Tunis. I was kept there for one month before I was free. You see, there is so much that unites us. There is so much that we have to work on. Native Brits, British nationals, should be first in the queue, ahead of recent arrivals or non-British citizens. They should be first in the queue for school places, no matter whether migrants have recently moved into the area or whether there is a single mum in a council house nearby. British nationals should be first in the queue for doctor's surgeries, with all else waiting their turn. And our lovely British nationals who have supported this country for so long, worked hard all their lives, should be first in the queue for elderly care and nursing homes. Not told that a new hip or hearing or sight is no longer a priority. This country has bowed its head for too long. For too long, we have tiptoed around the cultures that have chosen to join us and failed to stand up for the culture that they chose to join. First in the queue, you said. But what about all the people that need help? When their village just got bombed, is it really their fault they were not born into your British luxury? So tell me, whose side are you on?